Hey guys, Coach Simpson here. Wanted to talk a little bit about counter real quickly. Um, you know, obviously uh, I'm not by my whiteboard at my desk because we're still moving in. So I thought I'd just go straight to film for this uh, YouTube and talk a little bit about how we run counter. Uh, maybe a couple different flavors of it. So uh, base premise, I think a lot of guys have watched us run it. We run it old school wing T way, uh, which is I think the best way to run it. And so we're gonna block gap down backer on the play side, uh, which is the quick side for us. We're gonna pull kick with our strong guard, which is almost the exact same block he makes on buck as he does on counter. Easy, uh, easy transition for that player. Strong tackle is gonna protect, he's gonna gap in to protect the inside gap work to the outside. We pull wrap our tight end, who's a pretty athletic kid in our offense. And then we're gonna hand the ball off to our wing back. While we're doing this, and I don't wanna get super in depth on this, I've got a whole video on this channel if you wanna go through and look at it, um, that goes a lot more in depth than I'm doing right now. Uh, our wing back, we, we say you're gonna play chicken with our running back. So you are going to run as deep as you can in the backfield straight at him. And then the last second you'll come underneath, which will allow you to see the cutback, preferably three to four yards depth. Running back is gonna come straight across quarterback like he's running buck. Uh, he's gonna use a take, which means he's gonna put his hands up and take the ball and then give it for a cleaner handoff. Up top, we can do several things. You know, we can crack block, we can block, we can run an RPO if they're a man and they're reading number two or number one, just depending on what we wanna do. Quarterback is going to hand the ball off, and depending on what kind of athlete he is, either avoid uh, contact or um, he'll go actually and lead block, depending on what you have. So I'm just going to go through about three or four clips on this video. Again, if you want more in-depth information, I've got a whole counter video up on CoachTube and on my website, and I think I've even got a few on this channel. So here's counter for us. Okay, this team is overloading strong side. Uh, I guess a lot of tight front teams will try to do that to us. So we're not perfect. This is early in the year for us this year. It's going to kind of go slow and then I'll let it play all the way. Cause I know zoom video sometimes can suck. Okay. But we do a pretty good job right here uh, on the play side. I know there's some penetration there, but all we're trying to do is, is, is get through it with our pullers. And so they do a good job with it running back and quarterback. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Uh, and then our running back and our wing back, that's really good depth for him. He's going to be able to get the ball and see the hole. We do struggle a little bit with our quick tackle. Again, this is a problem that a lot of people will have. He needs to stay on his track. So, yes, we would like to block this inside linebacker. When this inside linebacker starts running over the top, we don't want to chase him. We got to stay on our tracks and end up blocking the backside linebacker. You can see where our kick is setting up, doing a great job at guard, one of the best guards I've coached about getting back upstream so he can kick this player. Then our tight end will wrap and he'll pick up whatever linebacker shows up. Okay, uh, but pretty good job right there. You can see right here, here's where our, our tackle makes his uh, wrong choice. He ought to be going to the next linebacker. Okay, you can see our receiver here. You can tell early in the year, young kid is lost. So just kind of ignore him for right now. We ought to be working here to block the inside backer. Tight end would pick this up. We end up getting kind of a switch look here where the tackle chases, which he's not supposed to do. And our tight end picks up backside. You see tight end does a good job eyes inside. And that's all we really need right here. Eyes inside run through him. We'd rather our tight end didn't stop his feet. Don't stop to block, run through that. Let our running back make a good cut off of that. Okay. And then we get a good little play here by our running back, breaks the tackle to safety and gets more yardage. I'll run at full speed so you can kind of see it. We'll look at a couple different flavors of it. So here's how quickly it hits or what we want it to look like when it hits. And we hit it up inside, a good little play for us. Uh, great run by our running back. All right, so this is a couple different flavors of how we're running it. We started doing what we call a lock call. So we're gonna lock on to this five technique instead of kick him. So instead of going gap down backer, we're gonna lock him out. Still blocking gap down backer over here. We're giving a stay call to our guard on this, which we have a couple different tags we can do. Guard will stay home because you can see you know, if he pulls and the tight end pulls, we're going to have problems. They have almost four guys on the on the weak or strong side. Our tight end now is going to pull and because we have a stay call right here. We're not going to get a pull kick from anybody. It'll be a pull wrap. If we were to pull both, it'd be a double wrap. We would wrap both of them inside. Really good adjustment. Five techniques giving you problems or 
they're reading the guard and it gives you an, an, an adjustment, but the backfield action is the same. Should be the same up here. They're in man's so or probably thrown in some kind of route is my guess. Man to man, you can either crack block or run them off, uh, depending on what you want to do. But this would be counter with a lock and a stay call. And you can see it opens up beautifully right there. Tight end does a great job on the block. Of course, that's a running back making plays, but our play design, we feel got him six to seven. Uh, really good though. You can see kind of reading guards here gets lost. Doesn't know where to fit and we're able to get our guy inside. Do one more here for this video. Again, you can watch more if you'd like to. Um, 314. So I think we're running at normal. We get that four eye. So he's kind of playing a five, four, four eye. Good ball player for them. So we just locked onto him. We just, wherever he goes, you take him. So if he wants to jump out in a five, we're going to lock onto him and take him out. If he wants to cross our face, we'll take him down. If he wants to stay in a four, drive him back. You know, that's your guy. Stay on him. Then we're gap down backer over here. We're going to get a pull kick on whatever shows up, a pull wrap, and then get on to the next level. They do a good job spilling it, which spilling it is one way to call it. I'd call it dirty when they're cutting our guard right there, but you know, good for him to do whatever he's got to do. Tight end does not get out. I showed this clip this is early in the year. Our tight end does not get any depth, so we can't get out. So you'll watch right here. Our center gets knocked back. Great job of their nose. We ought to be getting enough depth right there. But we still get out and are clean. We don't. Fortunately for us, you know, they kind of just give themselves up right there and we're able to hit it on the outside. And then if you play in Batesville, Arkansas, they're going to call that a holding. But I thought we did a good job of kind of spilling it and getting outside. So really good job, I thought, on the play side with these two. Our center does not do a good job. It was not a good job communicating. You can see the nose actually is unblocked. We're fortunate he didn't make a play, but not a very good job communicating here. Tight end does not do a good job getting depth, so he gets lost. Okay. And then this guy decides he wants to come up and cut. So we, we should have a tight end double wrapping. It should be a really good play for us. The guy gets on the edge and then you know, kind of spills for us. So a lot of work to do. These were clips early in the year. Um, this was a little later in the year. We got a little better at what we were doing. So you know, to me, it's a, it's kind of a work in progress. Anytime you run any play, and, you know, we try, I try to show plays we run when we're not perfect. So you can know that, you know, you can still run this stuff and do the best you can. Um, guys, I'm in a transition right now. I'm moving to Southside Batesville. So I'm actually moving into the house. I'm off the setup soon enough. I'll be able to get back to normal YouTube videos. Hopefully you guys have from this. If you would like more information on counter or anything else that I'm running, you go to my website, fbcoachsimpson.com, or just search this channel. You'll probably find a lot of what you're looking for. Appreciate your time.